Hi, I'm Mira and welcome to Flow with Mira. We have advanced full body workout. The movement are going to be Pilates complex. We will pull it through. So let's go ahead. We'll start standing up. Standing nice and tall, let's face the front of your mat here. So stand in the middle of your mat here. So have your feet in a parallel position, even pressure of your big toes, little toes and the heels creating a strong firm tripod foundation on your feet and lifting the arch of your feet and continue that journey of that lift Thing, sensation through the body, through the legs, through the pelvis, through the spine, shoulders nice and wide, arms are dangling down, your neck is growing, floating up and away to the sky. We inhale as we fill up our lungs, we allow our spine to grow even more. As we exhale, we deepen the sensation of the feet with the mat, with the ground. Inhale to lengthen and float away. Exhale, pull back to the floor and still grow taller. Taking this moment to allow a body to arrive in the space you are now with me today. We have a date. It's going to be good. You're going to be amazing. In breath. Exhale, grounding, firming the feet to the floor, starting to wake up that leg muscle. Your leg muscle is really supporting your spine, supporting your pelvis. Inhale, one more step here with the breath. Exhale. And we inhale again. And as we exhale, we roll the spine down, starting from the top of the head the neck, the upper back, start softening the knees, going to your lower spine and bring the pelvis forward, fold yourself in half, can we go a little closer to the floor, now once you kind of reach in towards the floor, watch your feet, are they still in parallel, is your weight to the, towards to the back of your feet or towards the front or even in the middle, have that conversation with your body in breath, Exhale, pressing down with the feet, lifting the arch of your feet and rolling the pelvis under, rolling the spine, coming to a beautiful upright alignment. We inhale as we grow tall more. Exhale as we roll down, allowing the spine to do its thing, to articulate, to mobilize, to wake up the body. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale, firmly press the feet, but lift off from the floor to roll up the spine. Inhale, using the breath to really lengthen and grow tall. Last one, exhale to roll down. Listen to your spine. Maybe bend the knees more if you're feeling a little bit stiff today. Do adjust the position, adjust the movement to suit your body today. Inhale, exhale, roll up again. Every day is a different day. We just have to adapt to the day and make it the best day ever. Ever, ever, ever. In breath. Exhale, we roll down. This time, let's roll halfway only. Once your pelvis is about to fold forward, bend the knees, flatten the back, go into a a flat back, flatten the back, go into a flat back, that's excellent mirror. So lengthen the spine, go into a flat back, take your arms next to your ears here. Now we'll stay in this position, your knees are slightly bent here. Just, just look down to your feet, make sure they are in parallel position and your weight is even distributed underneath your feet. We straighten the knees to your maximum ability. We bend the knees. We straighten the knees, warming up the back of your legs, warming up your spine, warming up your core, and we bend the knees. And we straighten. In breath. One more here. We straighten. In breath. Now send the pelvis down, bend the knee further. Bring our spine into 45 degrees here. 
and we stay as we inhale the next stays long the arms are active your legs are very active in breath exhale warming up your quadriceps i can feel them heating up can you in breath exhale let's take the arm away from me across on the outside of your thigh closer to me rotate the spine towards me and circle the back arm the top arm up diagonally and twist the spine arms are active on the inhale exhale let me go a little deeper inhale exhale top arm come back makes your ears bottom arm rotate to the other side switch the arm circle the back arm and inhale staying in a squat here exhale I want you to really, really keep the spine long. All right, try not to break that arm in the shoulder, but really rotate from the spine in breath. Exhale, and arms back. Drop the body down, hands on the floor. Walk your feet back to an up stretch position. Have to walk your hands forward too. And send the pelvis long. Pulling away from your hands, pushing down with the hands. And anchor your heels down, sending the pelvis up. Going into a, a stretch for the back of the legs, in breath. Exhale, let's branch, bend one knee, we switch. And lift the heel, and lift the heel, and prance the ankle away, in breath. Exhale. One more set, in breath. Exhale, and here both heels come down, sending the pelvis even longer. And can we grow your neck longer and push the floor away? All right, let's walk your feet to your hands. One, and come to the front of your mat. Come, come, come. Bend the knees, go into a deep squat. Hands back behind you, sit the pelvis down. Readjust the feet, readjust your pants. Okay, feet are parallel, knees are pointing up, arms are forward. Inhale as we grow tall. Exhale, we roll back. Can we get the sacrum and the lower back onto the floor? Once it touches the floor, we inhale, we stay. Exhale, come up, over, and lift, tall. Exhale, pull back, and roll back. Keep those arms active. Feel like someone's pulling you forward here. In breath. Exhale. Come up over. Come up over. Come up over. Inhale. Exhale. And roll back. Imagine someone's just holding your hands, supporting you from collapsing down. Exhale. You can imagine Brad Pitt holding your hands. Matt Damon. Anybody, you fancy? Exhale, we round back. Let's not get sidetracked there. Egg, we roll back. Let's get the sacrum down, lower back down to the floor. Arms low next to the pelvis here. Squeeze the knees together. Bring the legs up to the table top. Double legs lower down and up. We go down. Exhale. In breath down. Exhale. Two more down. Exhale. Last one down. Exhale. Let's stay. Let's flex the feet. Exhale down. Inhale. Ooh, a little bit more challenging here. In breath. Exhale. Keep that lower back lengthening down to the floor. I'm just going to imagine Kaya, my daughter, is standing on my belly. Anchoring my spine, my pelvis down as I lift my legs up and down. And she always does that ever since she started walking. So, and down. And stay there. Point the feet, open the arms. T position. Exhale. In breath. Exhale. In breath. Exhale. In breath. Can we come up a little high on the exhale? Left. Two more. Last one. 
I light one more up, interlace the hands, support your head, come on down. And we go to the chest lift. Breathe out, lift, and breath. Exhale, we go down, and lift, and breath. Exhale, we go down. And lengthen the spine as we fall forward. Ooh, tremor in my center. And come on down. And last one. Exhale. Lift, lift, lift. Lower the leg closer to me down to the floor. Rotate our body over towards me. One hand to the back of the thigh. The other one stays behind your head. Lift the chest a little higher here. Really try to get the shoulder to anchor down here. And can we lift up more into that flexion? So both shoulder blades are off the floor. And then hold the knee height, hands behind, rotate to the other side. Hands, pull up and up. Come up into flexion and rotate. We're not resting down, we're lifting up. Hold that new height, hands. Leg changes as we twist and twist. We want to mimic what the position we had before in the rotation. And, and, one more each side. Come back home, center, release the head down. Open your arms out to a T position for spine to supine. Over to me as we in breath. Exhale, come back home. Over other side as we in breath. Oh, that's a good stretch. Exhale, anchor the shoulders and think about reaching the pelvis away from your ribs as you twist and come back. In breath. Exhale. Sometimes if I'm lucky, I got a few cracks in my lower back and that feels so good. And last one here. Not today, I think. Oh, I can't get it out. <laughs> Come back. All right, lower the foot. One and two. Straighten the legs down on the floor. Take your arms overhead. Ready for our roll-ups here. So make sure your legs are tight together. Now, inhale to lift to chest lift. Ooh, checkpoint, guys. Make sure your feet, your legs are in line with the spine. I seem to be absolutely off center. And then exhale, over into that C curve. Now in that C curve, you wanna pull back in the abdominal and keep reaching the arms forward. Then as you exhale again, roll down, 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 and arms overhead. Inhale, up and over, check your pelvis, check your legs. Where are they? Exhale, up, over, into that C curve. Inhale, create length. Exhale, pull back. Melt the sacrum, melt the lower spine. And over. Inhale, whenever we practice, we really, really should have a scan of the body. In every exercises, where are they? Are they even? Are they equal? Are they rotated? Are they even engaging the right way? With that continuous conversation, it's quite meditative. It takes it to a, a flow, a flow state. Where you are, you become more in touch. You become more mindful. And as you become more sensitive, with all the sensation and the feeling you have in yourself. Okay, last one, inhale. Exhale. And once you're in that flow, whoa, I just love the fact that time has just stopped. Before you know it, you keep moving and you're doing this class and then you're like, whoa, that's an hour and a half gone. Where have they gone? Because you were in flow state. So let's. Let's rotate here. So we're gonna do roundabout. As we come up, this time, rotate our trunk towards me here. So we've got that chest lift rotation, then lift up to the side, back to the center, over towards you, and we roll down. 
and back to center. Now I'm gonna come towards you. Lift, peel up, run over, over the other side and back. And inhale. You know when you first started learning how to ride a bicycle, you fall down so many times and then some one time or one and suddenly you just able to just paddle through in breath exhale you acquire the skill of balancing coordination over the other side because you got the flow and that's what we want to do today lift up come up we want to see if we can get all our sen sensories in line with each other and back center last one here promise lift towards you so we create so we can achieve a beautiful flow state in our body where everything just work and you and you just enjoy and that moment all right so let's lift the leg up one and two so here we're going to do a hundreds but we're going to break it in five parts we do 20 breath we do a teaser prep and then we'll do a roll over five time so here we go we lift up extend in breath exhale and inhale three four five and exhale three four five and inhale three four that's a 20 bend the knees turn the palms facing inward roll up to teaser prep roll down Arms long, batter side, shoot the legs forward, legs up, roll over. Flex the feet separate, lower the feet down, lift the pelvis high, then roll the spine down. Sit the pelvis down, we point the feet, reach the legs away, stay diagonal, lift the head and the chest up, another 20. And inhale. There, bend the knees, palms in, roll up, teaser prep, roll down, legs long, head down, roll over. Flex the feet, separate, feet down, anchor your arms down please, shoulders anchored down, send the pelvis down first, then you point the feet, lengthen the legs away, lift the head up, and three, and 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 teaser prep turn the palms roll up oh i tell you what the teaser prep is harder than the hundreds and exhale roll down and legs straight up to the sky bring it to you roll up roll over sorry roll over not roll up dorsi flex separate and down Anchor the arms in opposite direction and roll the spine down. Make sure your gaze is up to the sky. Do not turn your head towards me. Point the feet, legs away. Two more. Lift the head. Bend the knees, palms in. Roll up. Here we go. Roll down. Arms down, legs away, legs up, roll over. We've got one more of this combo. Dorsiflex, separate and lower down. Roll the spine down. Oh, I can, I can tell you honesty. This is, my body's becoming fatigued now, but we're gonna do one more because I promise you, five, let's go. And in, two, three, four, five, and shh. Bend the knees, palms in, teaser prep, roll up. Oh, here we go. And exhale, roll down. Arms long, straight legs, up we go. Roll over. Dorsiflex separate and down. Roll the spine back to the floor. Send the pelvis down, point your feet, legs away. 
here we go legs together bend the knees one foot down the other one down and readjust the feet let's go to our pelvic curl make sure your feet are up in parallel position we breathe that as we lengthen the spine press the feet down drag the heels towards the pelvis as we roll up now let's press the hip a little bit more so we can open up the hip flexors and stretch the abdomen a little bit more. We have been working them quite hard in the last few exercises. And exhale, roll it down, melting the spine. All right, let's do it again. In breath, exhale. We have we've done so many pelvic curls in our life. Can we make this pelvic curl the best one yet? Yes, we can. Now anchor the feet firmly. Then press up a little bit more, press the hands down, hold, take the leg closer to me, up to the sky, straighten, we roll down. We roll up again, single leg pelvic curl, we roll down, we roll up again, and we go to shoulder bridge, and down, shh, up, shh, up, shh, up. Press those arms, keep them active. Three, two, one. Up, point, bend, lower. Wrist adjust the pelvis. Other leg comes up. Roll down. Roll up the pelvis, press the arms, push the hip up. Roll down. Roll up the pelvis, shoulder bridge, down. Two, three, four, stay up. Press up with the pelvis. Two more. Last one. Up, point. We bend. We lower. Readjust the pelvis. <sighs> Lengthen the spine and roll down through the spine. And amazing. Straight legs. Straight legs. Arms overhead. Inhale, lift. Again, my legs are not in the middle. <laughs> Make sure yours are. Roll up into that C curve and bring our body closer to the floor. Bring and kiss that leg with your forehead, perhaps, with your nose, perhaps, and just stretch that back in breath. Exhale and roll up. Okay, turn yourself to me on your knees for our nearly side kick. All right, how are you going? Okay, arms up. This is my third class that I've shot today. Definitely feel the work. All right, so let's go. Over to your right. Down. Extend the top leg, pull away towards the foot direction. Flex, we go. Inhale. Exhale, shh, shh, inhale. Exhale, shh, shh, in breath. And shh, shh. Last one, shh, shh, boom, and center. We're gonna do a little round the jump here. So we're gonna go back and down, forward, and up and around, make a circle with the leg, and up and around. Make sure you're still pulling yourself towards the foot direction. One more, and reverse, back up this time, and around, up. A lot harder than it looks, and two more. Last one, and come back, bring the leg in, come up, and let's go to the other side. Take it down, push away, straighten the leg, flex the foot, and we go, shh, shh, exhale, shh, shh, and shh, shh. Try not to sink in that bottom pelvis, really try to pull away, shh, shh, as you go forward and back, shh, shh, one more, and shh, shh, and center, take it forward, for our run the jump, forward, up, and around, and, and back. And feel like someone's pulling your leg away as you make a circle. I just caught myself dripping away to my shoulder. So let's not do that. And last one. 
reverse, back, and, and back. That's quite challenging, isn't it? And two, one, bring it back, down, and come up. All right, it's time for some extension work. Let's go to our front. We have our baby swan to start with. Forearm on the side of the shoulders, not the shoulders, the rib cage, rib cage mirror. All right, lengthen the legs away. And we glide the shoulder blades down. Inhale. Come up to a upper back extension. Exhale. Make sure your legs are active. Inhale. We lengthen the tailbone to your feet. We lengthen the shoulder blades down. We lift the upper back up. Exhale. And down. Inhale. We lift as you to your highest point. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. And we stay. Lift the forearm for the breaststroke and forward. Pull back. Bend the elbows. Come on down. Inhale. Lift. Extend. Pull back. I like to do breaststroke. Doesn't mean I like breaststroke. I do not fancy breaststroke, but I know. And we left. Breaststroke is good for me. It's training my upper back muscle. Inhale and lengthen. So there's some exercises that I do not fancy, but I practice them so I can be better at them. Lift, and this is one of them. Last one, inhale. And I wanna practice until I am good friends with these exercises, okay. Now stretch your arms forward, lift the upper back. I want you to come up to your thoracic extension here. So maybe I should move back. So my hands are on the mat. So lifting up here. Now, we're gonna do some swimming here. So we're gonna keep the upper thoracic engaged. Right arm up, left leg up and down. And the other pair and down. And left, in breath, exhale. And left, exhale. And left, exhale. And left, exhale and left, exhale. Last one here, exhale, both legs are up. Take the hands off, bring it to the side and the back, bend the knees, grab the ankles, rocking prep, we go down first. Inhale, lift the thigh, lift the back, straighten the knees, lift up higher, exhale, this is the other exercise that I do not fancy, but you notice that I teach a lot of this because I want to be better at my rocking prep. And again, inhale, sending the pubic bone down, thighs up, upper back up, straighten the knees, pull back, and come on down. I know I have a lazy right hamstring. So I'm thinking of engaging more of my right hamstring and lifting my back up more on my right side and come down. See if you can ask yourself, is that one side that you need more tension for your body? Inhale, lift, up, exhale, and release. Forearm down. Push off the floor, round your back, go to your rest position. Well deserved rest position. Send the pelvis down. In breath, exhale. One more here. Okay. All right, on to a quadruped position here. Are you ready? We got our front support, a plank position. We've got some push-up 
we've got some up stretch and some up stretch push up. Okay, now, so, got our back nice and long. Lift up the lower abs. So we lengthen the lower spine. One leg up, out, not up, out. All right, and a second leg out. Let's go five push up here. We bend the elbow and we press one. Get the shoulder blade nice and wide. Two, make it beautiful, make it meaningful. Three, four, one more. Five, walk your hands straight arm to your feet. Three, two, one, roll up. In breath, exhale, roll down. Down, down, down. Walk your hand, three, two, one, to that plank position. Lift the pelvis up to up stretch. And send the heels down. But keep the spine nice and long here. I want you to, as you breathe, can you create more space between each segment, each vertebra. And lift the heels up. Now here, for my friend, we're going to bend the elbows outward. We're gonna bring our body forward through, off the floor to your beautiful swan. And stick your booty up, pull up the belly, back to your up stretch. You got that? We'll do that again. Elbows wide, chest to the floor, off the floor door, pull the elbows in, push up to your extension, pull up the abs, pelvis up. And again, elbows out. And skim the floor, push up. Lift the abs, sit the pelvis back. We got two more here, elbows out. Skim the floor, push up. Belly in, pelvis up. One more, elbows up, push up. And how did you go lift up? Lift up, walk the feet, and prance, and prance, and prance, and prance, and prance, and come back to your plank, front support position. Bending the right knee in, curl the head and round the back. Shoot the leg up to arabesque. And bending the right knee in, round the back. Press the armpit to your thigh as you curl the spine and extend to an arabesque. Two more, round, flex, drag the hands towards your thigh and shoot the leg back. One more, drag, pull in, rounding, and up, lower the foot down. We've got the other side, we bend, the knee, we run, we shoot up to the arabesque and curling, rounding, dragging the arm between the side of your ribs and push the legs up. Last two, round and shoot up. So this is kind of like knee stretch and reformer. I didn't really say that before. I just got you into this movement round. All right, extend, reach up, lower the foot, and walk, walk, walk the ankle, and walk your feet forward towards your hands. Make sure they are in parallel position. Soften the knees, allow your body to dangle. Just dangle and open the rhomboids, the muscle across the back of the upper, between the shoulder blades, across the back, the upper back. Just let it open, a lot of gravity to do its job. Anchor yourself down to the floor in breath. As you exhale, let's roll up. 
pulling up in your centers, pressing down with the feet all the way to an upright position. Let's take yourself down again in breath. Exhale. We roll down. Ah. How does your spine feel now compared to the first roll down that we did at the start of the class? Do that. Do a quick observation. Do a quick scan. Can we be heavier? Yet light. Exhale, roll up. And coming right up. Nice and tall. Upright alignment. Inhale as we allow our head to float away from the gravity. Taking your body almost being able to levitate off the ground. I know we're not going to levitate, but that sense of ability to levitate off the ground. We in breath, listen to your breath. You may close your eyes here. I am. Exhale. Inhale. Lightness floating away. Levitate. I like that word. I'm going to use that word more as I teach. Exhale. I don't really use the word levitate, but I think that really suits this moment here. In breath. Levitate off and then pull down as you exhale by keep that sense of softening through the spine yet strong in this structure. One more. Inhale, listen to your breath and scan your body and be one with the body. Inhale and, and, and see what your body is doing. Feel what it's doing. I'll shut up. Just breathe. <laughs> Just breathe, Mira. Inhale. Exhale. And slowly open our eyes. Come back to earth. You are amazing. That was one challenging class and you stay put till the end. You're a star. Now, stay mobile. Please do not sit down right away. Hydrate yourself and just allow the flow that you experience in that class to expand to your surrounding and be an angel. All right, take care. I'll see you back on the mat tomorrow for another amazing session. See you later. Congratulations on completing the class. Well done. I'm Mira and I'm here to help you to look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my free Better Postures in 5 Days program. Click the first link in the comments and sign up. I will instantly send you a daily email with a 15 to 20 minute workout each day. This workout will work your whole body to help open, stretch and strengthen your posture. Your spine and body will love you. Don't forget to like and comment with any question you may have about Pilates. Subscribe and turn on notification so you don't miss any of my free Pilates video. See you in the next class.